Uh, we are here at the studio of the Archdiocese. And the Archbishop, Archbishop Dominic Lumon, is with us uh, to give us some of his thoughts on the pastoral life of the church. And so we have some questions for him, especially the pastoral nature, how the Archdiocese, Archdiocese in Far is continuously a forward moving diocese. So, Your Grace, uh, welcome to the studio to this uh, brief interview. And thank you so much for thank being you. here. And uh, we hope to have a very meaningful discussion. We would like to uh, have you for a few minutes here. Uh, we are known to be a forward-going diocese. And so, in this connection, uh, of what most concern in our mind uh, here in the diocese is that uh, we are basically a pastoral diocese. So, as a chief shepherd of the diocese, uh, what is your main trust for the diocese uh, at this point of time? We have no specific time-bound crisis. As in general, we have, for example, pastoral care right. to give fullness of life to the people through the sacramental life. ongoing formation. These are the uh, constant, continuous thrust. Uh, the signs of going forward, you mean? Going forward. Uh, because we don't do this, we don't go forward. We do this ministry in the constantly, that in a way puts us forward. Right. Uh, Your Grace, looking at the past now, is there some major departures in a method of uh, evangelization, uh, the use of human and material resources? So is there any major departures of late? We have definitely some departures. Right. In the past, we have we visit, we form communities, direct preaching, we form communities, we look after them through sacramental life. But now, with the coming of the media, for example, right. we don't have real, we, apart from direct preaching uh, through sermons and through other catechetical instructions, we use the medium of the social media to right. communicate the gospel values, gospel uh, teachings. So uh, use of media is one of the main departures, right, in our method of Indeed, it is. evangelization. Indeed it is. And now, again, Your Grace is a little concern. As our communities and parishes are increasing, do you think that administration has become more and more complex and that the stress on administration skills is overwhelming our personal ministry. Uh, do you agree on that or what is your comment on this issue? I would say it is indeed overwhelming administrative concerns, day-to-day -day affairs of institutions Right. Keep us in a way uh, chained to, doesn't make us free to go to the people directly. Right. And as often as we would love like to go. Uh, I see. Now, you are a bishop who travels immensely the length and breadth of the diocese. Now, in your visit to the uh, parishes, have you noticed significant changes in signs of moving forward, say in terms of Catholic numbers, say pastoral uh, plans, pastoral councils, pious organization, and women's societies and so on? Have you seen significant changes in these parishes as you go about visiting them? Yes, the church is, uh, we can say, 45, 50, 60 years old. Right. And I would say the church has... Uh, uh, the church has grown. In every parish, we have a very active pastoral council. 
We have organizations like uh, uh, youth, women, and lady. And every year there is annual plan of the parish. There is uh, congresses, seminars, Bible camps, right. youth camps, then retreats, both traditional as well as charismatic retreats. Right. These it is organized by the parish. So the right. church, it's not the, dais, the bishop, the leaders who said, you must do this, you must do that. It is the initiative of the priests and the people, which means that the church is really uh, grown and is very active. So along with the growth, ministries do have grown, right? And most of them are their own initiative. Yes, their own initiative. Uh, maybe one last question, Your Grace. Uh, as changing times demand, what are some of your major trust and methods to get the diocese move forward further and even climb higher in our pastoral ministry? Some of your major dreams at this point of time. Yes. The church is involved in, uh, let's say, pastoral education, health and social sectors. And uh, Strengthening these four sectors of ministry right. will make the church itself uh, what you call self-sufficient, so that the church will be able to advance uh, better. And besides that, I would say today, for 40, 50 years, we have. Uh, engage ourselves in primary education, right. for example, right. uh, up to class 10. This basic primary education, I would say. Now it's a time for us in the educational field to go higher, into higher uh, uh, learnings, development of uh, uh, giving opportunity to our young people to develop skills and every as, uh, walks of life so that uh, the church, the faithful are well equipped in social and civil and political life. Uh, talking to us is Archbishop Dominic Lumon, Archbishop of Bim Farm. Uh, Your Grace, uh, we are immensely grateful to you for Thank enlightening us on the pastoral dream of the diocese that along with growth of the faithful, ministries also have grown, and you have given a very good view, a positive view of the Archdiocese. Uh, we continue to pray for you and wish you God's blessings as you continue to guide the Diocese. Thank you so much Thank for you. your time. Thank you.